Hey guys, it's Reagan. All right, I'm gonna show you the rise and shine since I know um, there's a lot of questions about it out there and uh, I wanna be helpful. So here we go. All right, so here's the binder and mine has everything in it because it's the one I use to take pictures, but um, I will go through. So the first page that I would definitely have in there is the reference page of the days of the week, the months of the year. I'm trying to focus because it's not. Um, and that these things are also written up in the classroom for students to find and I teach them where to find them and how and when they need them. But um, that's number words. I'm sorry it's blurry. But um, I like having it here also for anyone who has trouble with transferring and uh, when they write. So there's some different options for this first page. This one has the student writing their name every day if you want name writing practice to be a part of it. The day of the week, the date, today's number, today's word. So if it was the first day of school they'd have a one there and they'd have like the word the or a or like. Something that um, you know depending on your grade level, depending on how you're going to do your words. This one has name practice, day of the week, date, and only the number. So if you didn't want to do a word of the day. Um, there's just different versions. Day of the week, date, two lines for date if you want them to write it out every day. Uh, today's number, today's word. Also what I suggest is varying this at different times in the year. So like your four quarters of the year maybe, you can choose a different one for each quarter. Um, some, some more basic versions maybe for younger students or less developed name days in school I can build it today is so that'd be a day of the week the date and the days in school today is date number of the day if you don't want to go by the days of school it's the same thing but just changed like if you wanted to get into higher numbers for upper grades that might be better all right, so then we take our number of the day, we count up, we count back, we tally it. Later in the year, I switch that first one out for this one. So count up, count back is the same, but then we do, I know it's hard to see, 10 less, 10 more, one more, one less. Part, part, whole for whatever our number is. All right, then we can add and subtract to equal our number. So different um, examples of, if our, if our target number was 10, we could say nine plus one, we could say 11 minus one. So we just, we're gonna share different equations. Am I thrilling you, Lucy? Okay, uh, the expanded version, tens and ones, they can either draw it or write it, make a model of it, half it, double it, write the number word, and again, with all of these things, it depends on the time of year and the, um, the skills that you're working on. And so what I do is I build the binder with the pages in front of each other. So if I know I'm gonna have a different page um, that's gonna switch out four times a year, I'm gonna have all four versions in the same page protector in order. So what I'll tell the kids is, boys and girls, we're gonna retire this page. I need you to pull it out and slide it behind purple. And then purple becomes the new front page. So they, I never change these out myself. My students do it. Once they're made, they're made. And I just have to have my plan. Now, can I change them out if I want? Sure. But I've just gotten to the point where I know that I want a certain version to be in the front and we're going to retire that page after I realize that my students are um, really fast with it or really, um, I don't want to say bored, I hate that word, but you know, used to it so much that it's not teaching them anymore. So then we'll retire it and it just kind of gives them the new exciting uh, motivation for what's to come. This, this is the place value cards and I do keep all... 10 cards in there. They are not laminated and they are on cardstock. I know that's a big question I get. Um, if you want to do the matching games or even just having it as reference, you can do that. The games are here, same thing. As many as I can fit, which is usually about 10. Sight words, I put 10 in each pocket and they get harder through the year. 
and then morning work in the back. So I run one month. I put um, ELA on the front and math on the back. So the students that love paper pencil, then they're going to get busy with that. All right, hope this helped. Adios.